I just came from Walmart um, just for like a middle of the week shopping trip. It's not my full groceries, but I wanted to share with you some of the foods that I buy to help me stay in track and to help me lose weight. And we needed just to stock up a little bit on groceries, not full blown groceries trip, but I wanted to share the few things I did pick up. And the first thing is bananas. And we still had some bananas left from last week, but bananas are always good to have. It's these, I would say they're about 120, 130 calories each because they're bigger. But they say like the average banana size is 110 calories or 100 calories. So those are a good healthy snack to eat. The apples I already had. Papayas are for my tree. Just ignore those. Um, kale. I haven't bought this in a while, but my favorite thing to do with it is make like a massaged kale salad. And it's literally just this type of kale and olive oil and some salt and that makes a good little side salad or like the main bulk of your salad if you're eating it you can also cook with it too and i like buying a big bag like that because it goes a long way then peanut butter i usually don't have a specific favorite brand of peanut butter but i always try to get one that has just peanuts in the ingredients like this one or peanuts and salt you don't want to get the peanut butter that has the extra oils and sugar and all that stuff in it. So this is the one I found this time at Walmart. I like getting these yogurts, the light yogurts. I think they're supposed to compare to Yoplait, but it's the Great Value brand. It's only 80 calories for a yogurt, so you can eat you can eat it with breakfast with like fruit or just eat it as a snack, only 80 calories. I got this low moisture part skin mozzarella only 50 calories a slice it's useful for breakfast or snack or lunch I've been liking these broccoli stir-fry frozen vegetables it has tons of different vegetables in there uh, mushrooms I re really like the water chestnuts because it adds crunch and then they're pretty big they're not as small as like the little 88 cent or a dollar bags of frozen vegetables so this is enough for a family of four I like grabbing those. The milk is just for breakfast, coffee. Um, we needed a little bit more meat. We try to raise our own meat on our farm, but sometimes I do have to buy meat from the store. So I found this was on sale. Beef bottom round steak. It's like thinly sliced, so that'll make a easy, healthy dinner. And I bought some smoked sausage. Same thing for one of the dinners this week. Cucumbers are always good for adding into your salads or just snacking on with a little salt and pepper. Sweet potatoes, um, it's a good alternative to rice, pasta, or white potatoes. So I'm not sure what I'll be doing with them this week, but baking them or roasting them. And I grabbed these sweet plantains. It's just plantains that are starting to get ripe. I just grabbed them because they were five for a dollar at Walmart. So I'll make a side dish or something with those. And then I grabbed these Jello, sugar-free Jellos. Um, I used to do this a long time ago, but I was watching a YouTube channel that suggested eating these topped with some sugar-free whipped cream, like in place of dessert at nighttime when you're craving something sweet, but you don't want to exactly ruin your whole diet by eating a full-blown dessert. You can eat two or three of these topped with the whipped cream and still be under your calorie intake because these Jellos. And I guess if you don't like Jello, it wouldn't really work for you. But I like Jello, and the kids like Jello, so it's a great option. These only have five calories for a cup, and then the the sugar-free whipped cream is two tablespoons for 20 calories. So you can eat a bunch of these and still be under your calorie count, and it's sugar-free. Then obviously water. I just bought water because um, we actually have a faucet filter. So, and we were running out of gallons, so obviously we're going to drink the water in there, but then we'll refill them with our faucet filter. So I needed to grab a few more of those. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys just a little restock trip to the store and, and to give you ideas of some healthy alternatives and healthy snack ideas to keep you like in, in track all week long. I hope you guys have a good day and thank you for watching.